host Brian Bigfish Raglan, and this, as always, is it's the Double Dizzle. Is the Double Dizzle, aka Double D. I'm sure just take away my fun. Um, tonight, he, here's the thing that I think is kind of cool. Um, you are slowly but surely turning into a hophead. I am. Which I is am. good. Um, Which is I mean, when I when I started doing Drink Like a Fish, uh, if you remember my first video, I said you know I'm not All really of a beer guy. But I'm not really a beer drinker, so I, I don't. Well, wow, that ruins the show a bit because it's a beer drinking show. <laughs> That's... Uh, and I wasn't. I really wasn't a beer guy. I didn't get beer. I didn't understand why people were dr beer drinkers as far as craft beers or even right. you know even the Budweisers and the Millers. Mill. Mill. Of um, course. <laughs> I didn't get it. What's wrong with the beers we have? Yeah, what's wrong with so the beer we got? I've kind of, I've had my eyes open a little bit. I've tried a lot of different beers. Um, and a lot of them to start off with, at least the ones that I like, were the maltier beers. You know, I, I stayed away from the hoppy ones. I still didn't understand why you want to drink something that's bitter and makes your mouth all pucker up. I didn't get it. Um, recently, though, we started trying a couple. I mean, not, not that we've reviewed it, but we've had the 21st Amendment um, Brew for Your Die IPA, which is probably the best IPA that I've personally had. Um, instead of just being bitter for the sake of bitter, it's actually got some flavor and some complexity to it. Also, that we had the Hop 15 when we went to the, uh, the was it the Lost Abbey? Lost Abbey, Brewing. yeah. This is much more drinkable than any IPA I think I've ever had before. Um, night at the local Taco Mac. Yep. Um, so, you know, I've been actually trying a lot more IPAs that I never had before. Just I, I've been hitting the IPA section. Just and, yeah, and, and trying a few. I, I think... The, th the ones that you've had is, is kind of a West Coast style, and basically it's, it's mm -hmm. not hoppy for the sake of hoppy, where it has kind of a cat piss, sort of piney taste. It has more of the grapefruit, right. citrus See, feel I to think it. too many IPAs are just bitter, and that's all. No redeeming qualities whatsoever, just bitter. <coughs> Hop bomb. Yeah, and yeah, just, so those grapefruity kind yeah. of qualities, um, I need that sweetness to kind of balance things out and give me some, some flavor besides just... That's why I'm your co-host, because I, I have that sweetness. Oh. I, I've personally tried this beer before, Double D has not. Mm. Uh, it's called Hop Stupid, and it is from Lagunitas. And um, I, I'm interested, one of the, the big things on this is is the IBU, and it's kind of funny, it says IBU for you, dot, 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 all the way across. Mm -hmm. um, and it says it has 102 IBUs. Now, I believe the human taste bud can only taste up to um, 100, or maybe it's 75. So this I have no idea. That's fine. I'm waiting for a fail stamp. Mm. <laughs> cool. Let's try it. Let's get into it. Lagunitas, hop stupid. I'm so stupid I'm so stupid Everybody's looking for something Everybody's stupid, stupid I've seen some, uh, I've seen some uh, floating particulates yeah. in this Let's, uh, let's get the nose on this. Ooh, I, super piney. Very piney. Very yeah, piney. That's the first thing I thought of. It smells just piney yeah. as hell. It smells like old Christmas decorations. <laughs> it does. It does. <laughs> okay. Let's taste it. Yeah. I thought this was supposed to be bitter. A lot of pine, I'd say 90% pine, maybe 10% malty. Yeah. Not a lot of malt, very piney. Mm-hmm. I, um, it's good. So I, I don't want my, my expression kind of throw people off because it's good. It's just not what I expected, you know, yeah. with the, the 102 IBUs. Right. Ooh. I'm a scared. I was scared. I'm scared. Mm. Wow, I just went into like a Harry Carey and said, yeah. Hey Dave, I'm scared to buy this bear. Yeah, I'm, 
this is definitely something I would buy again. Mm -hmm. I mean, not not something I would be like, hey man, you gotta try this because I mean, hop stupid, something that most people have heard of. But I would go buy this again for my own personal, yeah. you know, drinking. It's but yeah, so this is this is a little more traditional East Coast style. Mm -hmm. I, I don't hate this at all. I, I think it's good. Mm -mm. I, I really like it. I'm enjoying it. And so I'm and surprised because Big Fish did not think I was going to like this beer. Yeah. I remember when I bought it, he told me that I wasn't going to like it. And, yeah. um, I was expecting a lot more bitter. I would say that maybe a couple months ago, if you would have had this beer, you would not have the reaction that you're having now. It could be that, you know, just I've gotten used to bitter bitter beers and hoppier beers and what much, much more bitter man my, bitter. my man. palate has expanded no, of course it has a lot bitter Cinco pinky out when you're talking about your palate is hot I would say um, this beer definitively 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 that's bold this beer hmm. could be possibly the cure for what else yet 